All right, welcome back. We're picking up where we left off uh, in the middle of this incredibly long mission. We have 19 killed, 16 remaining, and I believe you're the last person to go. Yeah, it's just overwatching, and then here we go. Uh, the leg is gone. Oh, uh, hello, chrysalid. Is that the first chrysalid we've ever seen? I think that might be the first time we've seen chrysalids. Pot of four. Hopefully some of these overwatches connect. I'll take a graze. I'll take a three damage graze on an overwatch from a shotgun especially. Three and a one. It'd be nice if we could kill something here. It'd be real nice. I didn't expect you to miss out of anybody. Okay, there we go. That was a death. Uh, just the chrysalid died, no other shots. That's fine. That's fair enough. Okay, we're all like super clumped up here. So how do we want to approach this? They're also super clumped up. Uh, I think we burned a lot of consumables last episode, so I'm really hesitant to um, burn anything further. I want to try... Okay, we can flank this guy. We can actually flank the crap out of this guy. Also, you don't do anything else, but you have a shotgun, so you're pretty poor, actually. And then you're all the way over here. Um, we could send you up top. You can't see them from there, so that's bad. Um, laser rifle, flash. I know they're not flash the sectoids, because if they just do psychic abilities, we can just kill them next turn to counter those effectively. I think we might move here for the flank. We can't get it from anywhere else. And I don't want to give the sectoids a clean shot because they might opt to shoot instead of do psychic powers. Maybe if their targets aren't going to cover. I'm not sure how the target prioritization or the ability. Yeah, I guess it'd be better to say how the ability okay. prioritization works. Let's get you over here. 90%. Sure, take it. Ooh, okay. That's a lot of shots left to deal with these other dudes then. Um, how spicy do we want to get? We could like run a bunch of dudes out here. It's probably not a good idea. Um 47%, huh? That's not terrible. We also probably don't want to creep forward from this position any more than we have to. Because there's a lot of open areas out here that we might trigger guys from. Right now, this is a soft pod. But if we threw another four guys on top of this, suddenly it'd be a little scarier. I might just creep these guys up to here. This should be safe. We can get somebody over to here, like next turn, maybe to here. We could also... Yeah, I don't know if it's worth... Yeah, that doesn't... We could send somebody over here for high cover, but I think this might explode. Because it is a vehicle. Even though it's just like a forklift, it still might explode. I think this explodes, so we probably want to stay away from these. Um, let's go here. If this doesn't trigger anything, we, we can safely move somebody else up to it, too. Okay, I mean, we could run and gun. Nothing here flanks, though. Um, we can't get really get close enough to trench gun without exposing ourselves to this corner well, we don't want to do that 47 on the slug is the arc thrower the same yeah the arc thrower is the same okay well maybe we save the arc thrower for last there's a second arc thrower yeah let's get our second arc thrower if we can and move them up there as well that is you uh you can't reach Huh. Oh, you can art you can see from here though. I'm not sure what the range is. Hmm. Well, if you can't arc pulse from here, you can at least shoot. We can also go there. 
I guess that's technically like one tile further forward. Also, nobody else is over here. Sure, why not? We'll send you there. Uh, you can arc pulse 78, or you can shoot for 30. Well, we'll just we'll just take this arc pulse. Um, probably. Well, I guess we can wait. We'll probably take this arc pulse on this sectoid. So let's try and root the other one out then. Uh, we can move you up and take a shot. I don't know if anybody else can reach that spot, so it's probably yours. Yeah, it looks like it's your spot. Oh, uh, Sentinel can reach it, but Sentinel's got a worse weapon. Let's grab... Yeah, let's grab... Oh, you're a shotgunner, though. You actually probably can't even get a good shot. Yeah, there's no way you get a good shot. No fucking chance. So let's grab the other one then, the assault rifle user. Run you up here. If you say so. That way you can at least get a shot. 52? I'm pretty okay with that. I want, yeah, this one. I will take a graze there for two damage. I'm perfectly happy to see that happen. Okay, um, then there's you. Yeah, so this was this arc throw. Reckoner. Yeah, I don't really want to go over here. You don't get a shot from there. You can grapple. Uh, maybe we can get over here. Um, this is no view. Yeah, okay. So if we can see them from here, I'm sure we could see them from up here. And then I guess if we can't grapple... Okay, so let's move here. If we can't grapple, we can run back here and hide. And I think, I think if we take a spot back here so we don't see through this window, we shouldn't see the turret that's down here somewhere on this edge. We saw that. That was the first thing we saw on the map, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm remembering the position correctly. Um, okay, well, we can, ooh, we can even grapple all the way up there. I don't think that's cover, though. Um, oh, we can only see one? Uh, the target preview looks like it's lying to me on one screen. Well, we'll do this. I think this is the safe spot. It's definitely cover. We'll take the shot that we can take. No, we can see both. Okay. Um, 56 or a 64. Huh. Let's see what else we have before we take that shot. Um, fuck man. I don't like your shots either. The only way you get a line of sight is if we throw you out in the middle of nowhere. Feels excessively risky. Uh, you can get a shot from there, or we can move you over to here. Um, if we get the shotgunner out of the way, we can open up other spots. Um, well, you can move here. That's low cover, at least. That's fine. 68! All right, we'll take that for sure. That's that's fine. Good hit. Good hit. Four damage graze and high cover. Perfectly happy to see that. I know I bitch about grazes a lot. So um, I'm not going to bitch about this one. Okay, why don't you take this spot? Because that's the only spot you can get to. Um, for cover that can actually like see what's going on here. Okay, you can only see the far sectoid, but that's fine. We'll take We'll take the shots. We'll need to chip it down anyway, even if we get the stunt. Oh! Hmm. Uh, is that one closer to dead now? No, they're both at four. Okay. Interesting. I'm thinking I might run you back around here to this corner. You'll be in high cover, and then if they're still up next to you can take two shots. Uh, let's do that. You get over here. That way you're looking right down this alleyway. Buddy, uh, I still haven't decided what I want to do with you yet because you're not going to have shit for shots. I do think, yeah, we need to get you out of the way because I think we can creep Stalker in here if they're not blocking him. So let's do that. Um, buddy. Buddy, oh pal, oh mine. Why don't we just, uh, oh, maybe I should have put them here so they could take that shot. Well, fuck. Um, I 
I mean, that's technically op an option. I don't think it's very good. I f Let's just get him around here and out of the way. Oh, we could teamwork. Who's your friend? Berg. Which one's Berg? Oh, the one right next to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, can you shoot with advanced teamwork? Because we saw regular teamwork a while back when allowed to shoot. Well, we might as well try it out. We still have another charge for the mission. No, you can shoot. Oh, fuck. Then you can walk fire. Oh, dude. Well, that's the only one you can see, so you might as well go for that kill. Better to kill it now than stun it. And... Okay, well, that was, that was good. Uh, that was pretty good. And you can, in fact, get to this cover point. Excellent. 75%. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Ooh, we're close. Oh, we're close. Okay. We have you. We have you. You can't do anything now. And we have you. Why don't you take the shot? 56. Okay. Um... 0%, 47%, 47%. So the stun is the better option here, I guess. Sleep tight. With? Get it together. Yeah. Um, I guess we overwatch and hope for the best. Might keep it from advancing and getting a flank on anybody or something. Yeah, it just switches a little bit here to the side. Don't kill nobody, please. Okay, just a mind control or a zombie. That's great. That's that's the best. Yeah, zombie best case scenario, right? Because it can't do shit this turn. We're fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we do anything useful by killing this zombie? Does anybody get any sort of benefit from doing that? I don't think so. Okay. Um. I must reload. We don't want to advance. You have two targets. Oh, because the zombie's up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the one that makes the most sense with to take a shot first is you. Well, you'll have the free reload too, though. Um. Sure. Eh, there it is. So, uh, we could heal somebody up here, too. Three on that guy. Or we could save it for somebody who gets knocked down. I mean, problem is, I don't think anybody really survives most other shots at this point. Is it better... To heal them up so they can maybe take a shot, or is it better to let them get knocked down by a shot and then stabilize them? Honestly, I have no idea. Why don't we... Yeah, let's take a breather here. Everybody's tightly closed up. Um, why don't you come over here? We can heal you back up. You can overwatch here. Yeah, we'll heal you. Uh, we could reload and just overwatch, I guess. It's not like you're going to have a good shot anyway. Like anywhere you go. Yeah, let's do um, reloads and overwatches for the rest of this turn. That way we don't have to reload in the middle of combat. You have a free reload, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so where do we want to go next? We've been, we, kept, we crept up this way. We know there's a turret here. If we go over here and we see the turret and we reveal a pod, we're stuck fighting extra shit. Whereas if we wipe out the rest of the map before we reveal that turret, 
Well, I mean, if the pod's there, the pod's there. We can't do nothing about it. No, the turret's not a threat. Like, the turret doesn't move. So we can engage that on our own terms. It makes I think it makes more sense to go this way and see if any other pods are showing up in this area. Now, if we do that, our options would be... So, this courtyard here is, like, really lacking in safe cover because if... I don't know if this explodes. I'm, I'm positive this does. Which means we have to move like up here and across this way. How close are these buildings? We might be able to like dip over here. Then we have elevation bonuses. We haven't even seen this part of the map. There's the edge. You know what? Let's go back to creeping along the edge. We'll, head, we'll fall back to this building. So why don't you... Maybe just pop back over here at Overwatch. On my way. Moving to Overwatch. Uh, free reload, sure. I'm ready. We'll do kind of the same plan, I think. We'll pop you back over here somewhere. Um, has this car exploded? Because it's on fire, but it looks intact, like especially in the front. Let's not get too close, maybe. Usually they explode in like one turn, right? It, it's got to be fine. It's got to be. Uh, reload and overwatch here. Even though it's only one ammo, we might as well do it now while everybody else is reloading. Scorpion, you have a free reload. Let's just uh, fall back here somewhere, I guess. We'll just dangle you out in the middle of nowhere. It's fine, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Not for, you know, this turn. Um, you can reload and just sit, I guess. You have a freebie. Why don't we run you over here, I guess. You want to give me any of them uh, sound hints, maybe? Okay, the car didn't explode. Maybe that was from last turn. No, because it's been too... Maybe a shot missed and hit the car? I thought this was from before the save was loaded. Well, whatever. Uh, clearly the car actually was a threat. Um, all right. All right, uh, we're gonna get somebody moving first, right? Maybe, do we have a grapple? We could pop a grapple and get somebody up on the rooftop. Spike has a grapple. Uh, we might as well burn this. Yeah, you can grapple up to here. Because by the time we're moving to a new rooftop, it'll probably be back. Uh, no good cover points. I guess we'll move you down to here. Although maybe there's an argument we should have checked some more of this first. Um, do I want to just run the shotgunner to the roof maybe? Given that they're not... No, there's no reason. We might as well just take the overwatch if nothing else. Um, we can put you inside the building. I mean, you can just duck in here for cover. It's, I guess we could always run the shotgunner through the building. There's, yeah, there's a door there. I'm sure there's windows and exit points down here. It looks like there's a door there. Yeah, because if they're on the roof, it doesn't really offer much of a bonus to them. Why don't you go to this cover point? Seems doable. Reckoner, let's get some people out of your way first. Aye, aye. Eyes peeled. Buddy, another scatter ray. Um, why don't we run you down through here? I think when we next find a pod, 
we might want to seriously consider um, dropping the evac right away. That way if anybody gets downed, we can get them out of there because it takes time. Uh, are you going to be on fire no matter where I send you to? Because that's pretty shit. No, you're fine if I send you over here. Yeah, you can just you can just overwatch up there. That's fine. Mangler, I guess we can send you to here. It's kind of exposed, but we should have a reaction turn with Overwatches. So. No problem, boss. I'm on it. Um. I'm trusting you here. Sure. At this point, we've got so many people kind of just out in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't really matter. We should have that turn to react, so it should be fine. You can take this cover point. Somebody might as well be in cover there. All right. Yeah, there's a little bit of hitching there. You're fine. You're fine. The building's barely burning. All right, I guess we'll grab, well, okay. So right now we have everybody on the ground. He's kind of ahead. Why don't we just creep him forward a little bit here and then move everybody else up here to greet him rather than having him getting too far ahead. Yeah, Stalker, you can get up here in a similar area, I guess. Gator, we'll send you through the building. I'm going. Reckoner, we want you on the roof for elevation bonuses. Good to go. Buddy is another shotgunner. I guess you can take the ground floor, that's fine. Scorpion. Shotgunner number three. Sure, bring up the rear. And Cyber can't get up there. Uh, go to the ladder, I guess. Oh! We got a pod. I think most of our overwatches are not going to see this. We've got most people up on the roof. Ah, uh, some of them are on the corner. Holy shit. What a f fucking pod. One, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight dudes, I think. Oh, uh, we got one overwatch there. That's awful. Okay, what do we have? We're out of most, exp you can run and gun. Look at this guy's HP bar. What am I supposed to do against that? Maybe we fall back on the roof for overwatches? Bait him up? We tried to do that before on this exact building. Problem is that the max grenade us, we fall to our fucking deaths. Uh, you have a nade. Do you think we can get close enough for that to be useful? I feel like we can't. Also that overwatch. Also that overwatch. Um, 
Does grapple bypass overwatches? If it does, we could... Could we get a flank on anything? Doesn't look like it to me. Fuck. We could grapple, move one tile, shoot the mech. You can't even see him. I don't know, I can't trust these overwatches because of the one tile reveal. Overwatches don't trigger for one tile. But maybe that doesn't count if you're not already inside of the overwatch. Because this looks like, well, we get the, this, yeah, no, this should reveal. This should be an overwatch fire on us. Um, not a reveal, a, a shot. We could do some good show chain shot on a mech, I bet, from this kind of elevation. We need to pop that overwatch. And if I'm going to pop the overwatch, I need to be able to see the bastard. And nobody can see the bastard. I need this grapple to work. So we grapple to here, we move one tile, which should be safe. And then we pop the overwatch. This should be fine. You can see it. Yes. So you pop this overwatch. Perfect. Okay, now we have full movement available. If we can get some damage up on these guys, we could also probably go for a pretty good kill here with the Reaper. Why don't we grab Spike? How are you doing on HP? You're okay. Your ablative is gone. You have very good visibility here. Um, what are you? Basically what needs to happen is we need to deal with the explosives. We have to assume we can take some shots. And I don't have any good explosives left. Probably the um, skirmisher was the best option for some grenades. Because they have, I'm pretty sure they have increased range. Although maybe we didn't take the, like the increased effect size. Although maybe we don't have it on that one. Maybe I'm thinking of the other skirmisher. Uh, trench gun. You can run and gun and trench gun. But we're like throwing you into the fucking meat grinder. What is your HP situation like? You're... At full HP. But we are throwing you in the meat grinder if we do that. I'm also not sure we can actually get more than like one target on trench gun. Ooh. Oh, you get a flank. If we move you here, you get a flank. What about... Oh, there's that guy down there. So we can get multiple flanks. Wait. Wait. Okay, eight active remaining is 12. So there's maybe one more small pod. So we know there's one turret. These eight, that's nine, which leaves three dudes. That's one small pod somewhere on the map or three turrets spread out. This might be it for mobile enemies. We might have basically free reign of the battlefield other than like revealing turrets. Also, we do have teamwork up. Okay, we need to know what we're dealing with. That's that's where we're at right now, is we need to figure out what... Ooh, look at that mobile. Look at that visibility. You also have a Sten gun, which is viable. I also can run and gun and grenade. You're, I assume you're... Yeah, is there anything close enough that that's viable? These guys we could hit with grenades. These two with one grenade. That's about it. Your HP... Oh, no, you're f you're at full HP. Then there's you. So the only place you do anything useful is if we move you here, right? As far as cover goes. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's take this move, and then we can check out all the targets on the battlefield. Uh, these guys got full HP too, so he's fine as a target for him up here, I guess. So what do we got? We got Advent Mech, obviously Mech Longbow. I assume these are both grenades, micro missiles. Uh, then we got a trooper, whatever, heavy gunner, which is he does have a frag grenade. Okay. Well, that's a target to kill. And a Rocketeer. Okay, the Rocket Launcher has to fucking go. Right? That's very deadly. And then the General. And then, yeah, the Advent Mac. Yeah, Micro Missiles as well. Actually, does the General have a grenade? The General's way back there, though. Somebody's angry. I think the General... Let's ignore the General this turn. Let's assume he can't get a grenade up on the roof to hit us. Actually, that might be true for this guy. We need to take out the Rocketeer and the two mechs. That's the priorities. 100%. Do you shred? No. What is your shot on the Rocketeer out of curiosity? 78%. Actually, not that bad for somebody in full cover like that. Okay. So now we're back to the shotgunners, right? We need to get some damage spread out so that we can use cereal to kill some of these dudes. So if we run and gun you, you can get to here. Or, oh, the flank shot. Right, 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 right. The flank shot. We can do the flank slug shot on the grenadier. Which m maybe kills him. Okay, what's the plan then? Uh, I feel like this thing explodes. It would be a really good cover point. I'm not sure if that flanks. It does flank the Rocketeer though. Ooh, I feel like this thing's gonna fucking explode on me. We gotta take out that Rocketeer. We have to. The flank is too too good. Too good of an opportunity. We have to go for this. So, this is the best... Assuming that this explodes in a one-tile radius, potentially, if hit. Uh, I think this should be safe. We could go one tile further. Then we got cover from two directions. Actually, yeah, we could be flanked here pretty easily. Let's take this spot. We're pushing further forward than I would like to, but I think the odds are in our favor, given that there's... Okay, we found every other unit on the map. Two drones and two turrets. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Why is everything right here in this one courtyard? Oh my god, you're gonna you're fucking gonna die, my dude, I think. We have to kill this. We have to take this Rocketeer shot. 67% uh, chance the crit for plus seven. Good odds of killing. Okay. Good job on the Talon rounds. You know we did need that kill. Who's his friend? Maybe we pull him out of there. I don't think we can pull off a useful flamethrower. Okay, so Gator can run and gun. We could run and gun on you. All we'd really have would be Arc Pulse. I guess we would frag. Which would hit like this mech and that trooper. Um, actually. I wonder, okay, let's grab Stalker. Let's get Stalker. Oh, this high cover point's pretty good. Let's see what you can see and what your shot percentages look like. 100%. 100%. 100%, 15 graze, 4 to 7. Not a guaranteed kill. If we get the grenade out... So I think if we get the grenade 
on these two, we might... Ah, no, we need more than one shot on the fucking archer, I think. Who has a grenade that I can use here? So there's Sentinel. We know the shotgunner has a grenade. I mean, other than them. What is my... I wonder what my throw looks like from the roof. I'm really nervous about having this many people clustered here. But, like, what else are we going to do? I guess it, it doesn't matter if we get all the kills on the explosions. Or on the, the explosive users. 100%. 100%. Well, that's the long... Oh, also, Hail of Bullets. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we have a lot of good options on Hail of Bullets. And I assume your flamethrower doesn't do shit, right? Yeah. It's clo actually kind of surprisingly close. I mean, it's nowhere near close enough, but given that it's a flamethrower, it's actually kind of surprisingly close. So if I want a grenade out here, it has to like be you. Well, right now we got this guy who's pretty exposed. I think exposing a second guy can only divide fire and maybe help them both survive potentially. Is that true? Am I just trying to convince myself it's true? I don't know. So if we want to grenade those two guys, we almost certainly have to move up. I'm not even sure we can get it from this rock, actually. We can move to here. If we run and gun to here, I'm almost certain we can get the grenade here. If we kill this mech, in this mech, the only thing that could flank us would be this guy, basically, by running, like, over here. Um... I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. We gotta get some action out here on the board because we have so many guys activated right now. Oh, you actually get the a flank up. That's interesting. Um, well, we gotta get the mech for sure. Uh, that should be hitting both. I'm a little nervous that the tiles aren't lit up underneath the second guy. Okay, it did hit him. Good. Is he? Oh, he's flanked from the other guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you could theoretically kill that one. Five to eight. Then we've got you, buddy. You can see some dudes... Um, your shot percentages are probably pretty poor. You're also injured. I guess we'll put you here under this high cover and see what you can do. I'm not expecting too much from you. Um, advanced teamwork. 56%. That's the damage we need to, um, maybe pull this kill off. That's not bad for the distance. All right. All right. All right, I see you. So we get another hit on it, and Stalker can turn, can finish it off. Um, we got Cyber, we got Spike, we got Mangler, and we got Sentinel, and we've got Cobalt. We've got a lot of moves left here. Okay, why don't you hit the Longbow? Okay, I think six is basically perfect to guarantee the kill there. Yeah, two damage left. So that Stalker has that kill. Um, there's no reason not to take this now. Yeah. That way we don't fuck up and target it with somebody else or something. Okay, so there's that one down. Now we want to kill the other mech. Kill this mech, and then we go for probably that guy on a kill. So we need the damage up on the mech. Um, this is probably not any worse of a cover point than that one is. You are also fairly tough. You can also move to here, though. That could be flanked um, from there, which is bad. Why don't you go to here? 100%. Percent, 18% percent graze, though. You are a shredder. Oh, you did have elevation. We probably should have got you up somewhere. You can ostensibly kill that pretty easily too, though. 
Uh, maybe we use Spike to get this kill done. Oh, we have the chain shot. Oh, fuck. 100%, 14% graze. What if we just take the standard? 100% no graze. Uh, maybe just kills it on his own. Next best shot is an 83 on the trooper. And then 83 on the gunner. Um, six to nine. I mean, 83 on this gunner, and he could kill it. Then we have Mangler, and then we have Sentinel. Oh, Sentinel. Three to five means like one to three actual damage. Your damage is not high enough to be that valuable. Conversely, 77% chance to kill this trooper. Well, 57 because of the grays. And then there's Stalker, and then there's Cyber. And there's Mangler, of course. Um, okay, let's get you down here. <coughs> that means you can take a shot this turn. Or flash or suppress. 97. Um, I don't know... Problem is, we're getting these guys kind of spread out. Like, we've killed off a bunch of ones in the middle, which means we don't have these, like, group hits that we can pull off. Somebody has to take this shot. I think we take the guaranteed. This kills it. No, this doesn't guarantee kill it. Right? Right? I mean, you can also suppress, though. So anything we can do with Mangler, we can do with them better. Except that you don't guarantee this hit. In which case, we've wasted your shot. You can, but don't do shit for damage. No, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be Spike. It has to be. Okay, just take it. Either way, this guy dies. Okay. Not getting as much value out of cereal as we could have, but it's fine. 67% on the heavy gunner, 67% on the advent trooper. The better shot for the advent trooper is stalker. Oh, 100% hit chance. It's just the graze that fucks this up? Don't graze, and you're good. Ooh, okay. We're in business now. 100%, 60%, and you can't see anybody else. So, oh, hail of bullets, this guy guarantees the hit three to five. Yes, I think so. Because then maybe we could finish him off with the other guy with uh, cereal. Four damage. So, two to five on this shot. We need max damage. Unlikely. I don't know why it's 2 to 5 there. Uh, drone, 4 to 7. Oh, wait. What do the drones do? Stun any enemy with a melee range, minimal damage, impair, and repair is max. Do we want to maim? Can we maim? Can you maim a mech? A drone. Because if we can maim it so it doesn't move, that might be as good as taking it out if it's all short range attacks. Then we have Mangler, and then we have Stalker. So if Mangler can hit this heavy gunner with a 67% chance, then we can secure the kill on the Reaper. Then the Reaper can take another shot or Overwatch, and we can lock down the drone. We won't be doing any suppressions. But it's probably better to kill the target if we can. A 
Let's go for it. Yes. Okay. Ooh, exact damage there, too. Okay, so all we have left is this shot. 60% chance. Uh, the armor means it doesn't do much. I think I'd rather pop an overwatch to try and discourage them from approaching. Watch begins. And then we just have you. So let's go for the maim. Let's try it on the drone. It also might just kill the drone. And then we got all those fucking turrets to deal with. Okay, uh, shredded and maimed, so it looks like it's locked down. Okay, we got a mark. Uh, are you gonna get fucking murdered now? Oh my, oh my god, yes. Marked, ruptured, and killed. Okay, well, fuck. That was one of our highest level soldiers. Also, I think that was our fucking commander. Oh fuck, there's a shield bearer? I didn't even notice him there. I hit the armor. Well, that's something. Hopefully you can't do a stun? Okay. That was close. Are you fucking for real from across the fucking field? Thank God for that miss. Okay, we're live. Ugh, I can't believe they fucking got murdered like that, dudes. Ah. Okay, so we've got an overwatch on that fucking captain. Uh, throw a flash? Oh, what the fuck? Which guy is this? Is that just another? Must be just another gunner. We could almost flamethrower. Are you still not? No, you're not flanking. You could get a flank in. Also, they really didn't go for these obvious targets. They went for the ones up top. Um, we can't get a flank on you anywhere. It doesn't look like 86% on the drone, 23 on the general. Oh man, that grenade can almost do amazing things. Almost, but not quite. Fucking fuck. You do have flamethrower bonuses. You can now panic enemies. Ooh, if we get the panic up on the general, that might be really good. We don't need to move her to like here, where he's standing. And if we do that, then we need to hit. Oh, uh, Arc Pulsar on the turrets and drones are a thing. Okay, so, uh, let's grab the Reaper. Let's have the Reaper take a shot at the General, I think, just to pop the Overwatch off. 60% chance, about the best we're going to get here from anybody, and there's no reason to move him anywhere other than this high cover point anyway. Um, very fucking nice. Also, the Shred. I wasn't even considering the Shred. Okay, so, now, you have, you're suppressed. That's the next problem. So 
It's from that asshole way in the back. <sighs> what if we leave you there? Or... Yeah, okay. So let's say we leave him there, maybe. Cyber can move up next to him. Can you not arc throw the fuck out of a drone? Is that because of the... Why can you not see this drone right in front of you? You can now. We could impact fields and just shoot, I suppose. Nice crit, my dude. Nice crit. Okay, so he's good. Let's grab Elise, Gossens, Cyber. We'll run her over to here. We'll go for the, th the flamethrower, I think, on the general. Can't get anybody else in it, but we might get a panic here. No such luck. Chain shot, anything? 48%. 58%. You can't see the other drone or anything. If we move here, you can. Uh, might want to take the kill on the drone. Yeah, because then you could, like, arc pulse. I could actually move here for loot. Oh, you get a flank on. Who, this guy in the back? I feel like these guys are more of a threat. Heavy turrets. Yeah, four to seven. Scary. Move here, get the loot and arc pulse. You can still see, right? Yeah, we might as well. We're not going to reveal anything else, so... Might as well just do this. Oh my god, there's... Oh, there's a... Th Are you kidding me? I thought that was every enemy. I thought that was all of them. How did... What? Is it six remaining undetected? Active is four. Wait, what? Do the turrets not... Oh, the turrets don't count. The turrets aren't in this count. Oh, that's dirty. That's fucking dirty. Oh, that's not even the one I wanted to fucking hit. God damn it. Uh, we moved to high. We can throw a nade. We could get a shred up on the, the general that way. <laughs> Uh, walk fire is your only option there. No better view. Okay. Let's grab Spike. Spike, get moving over here so you can take a shot on something more useful. Okay. This is dirty. The game is being dirty. Okay, this should be a kill. Six damage look like a kill, right? Yeah. All right. So that means there's two unrevealed enemies? Like, two more drones somewhere? I'm so fucking confused by this enemy count. One, two, three. One, two... There's six enemies on the fucking board right now. You liar. Also, I said we we're going to put down the fucking evac, and I never did. Um, fuck. Let's just throw it out here, I guess. Just in case we need it. Okay, you have to move this way to do anything. Uh, which is going to... Looks to me like you can't do shit. In general.
Uh, you can go to the window, though. I guess that might work. I can handle that. Twelve fucking percent, my dude. Twelve fucking percent. Okay, you can get one additional target if we move up there, which is the shield bearer. Really don't care that much about the shield bearer. I need to get on these turrets. We could try and flash. Uh, Reckoner to high cover can see a turret there, but like, you're almost dead. I feel like it doesn't achieve much. Moving you up there. Ninety three or a hundred. What are your that's not what I wanted. I want to see your stuff. Um, advanced auto loader. Do you have free reloads left, my friend? I don't know. Trusting you here. Forty-two percent. Not much of a point. We could area suppress. I suppose it's better than regular suppression. Um, because if people move into that, it might matter. I don't know if it does. I don't know if it suppresses on click or if it suppresses for the turn as they move. We'll do a suppression on this guy. Um... I might move you just back here somewhere where hopefully the turrets don't see you. Because you're like almost dead. Uh, a grenade throw doesn't end the turn. But I don't think you can pull that off there. No, you can't. I kind of want to, like, get you into a position to be able to grenade next turn, maybe? But I don't know where I could run you to that wouldn't be, like, death. Down here? Oh, this door's closed, but you'd open it if I ran you in there. I could run you down here. Ugh, fuck me. Okay, so basically what I can do here is I can take a shot with light em up or I can take a shot with a walk fire. If the light em up shot hits, I can take two light em ups next turn. If a walk fire, then I can't take two. Four to six, five to eight. We'll take the big shot. Okay. Oh, you get to go again? Did I not already go with you? I thought your turn was done. It's good that it wasn't. Damage is nice. You just overwatch, I guess. Discourage him from moving. Why don't you just get back here? Out of the way. Try not get killed. Should have hunkered. Ah, uh, you're burning. I wasn't sure if you would burn because we've seen before a lot of units didn't burn. Hunkers. Cool. Oof. A nine damage hit? Are you fucking for real? Don't kill him. Okay. I hope he can't be seen by those turrets. Oh, he absolutely can be seen by those turrets. 
Oh, but they're not targeting. That one's not targeting him. Okay. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. One more, please don't kill no- Oh yeah, shoot him, shoot him. Okay, well that <laughs> was damaging. Um, I was not ex that, when I said shoot him, it's because I thought he could take it, <laughs> uh, and he can't. Uh, your tree burnt down. Oh my god, your tree burnt down. Okay, interesting. I have another flamethrower available. We could try for another panic. I could move to here. Um, this is flanked currently by these guys, but I don't think it'd be flanked by the turret. We get the loot. You're about as tough as anybody is at this point. Okay, if I move there, it should work. We should be able to flamethrower two of these guys, roll for panics again. <sighs> we just do it, right? Fuck it. We somehow made it through this turn without anybody dying. I thought focus fire on this guy was going to take him out, but after the first two shots, I just fucking ignored him. Uh, yeah, do... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, there you go. Burn him. Panics, please? Please, please fuck off. Shield removed. Panicked. Hunkered. Okay, panic and a hunker. Cool, that should carry over to next turn, right? Uh, loot. I want the loot, but I think that would be fucking greedy. Um... 93% on the chain shot. Oh, that's because we get the bonus for not moving. We do this. This is so good. Ooh, the crit. Come on, second one connect. Yes, dude. He's going to burn. He's at one HP. He burns. He just burns. He just fucking burns. Okay. He's dealt with. Um, now we just got to get turret damage. So you can see a turret from here. That's high cover. That's pretty good. Scorpion, you have a slug shot available. You also have an arc thrower available. Um, now I'm really nervous about advancing any further forward because we've been fucked by turrets a few times here. You can see one from there. I might need you close because of the arc throw. Damage. Why don't we go here? You can only stun them. Oh, is it because he doesn't have arc pulser? Oh, that's probably what. what's going on there. 100%. 92%, 5 to 8. It is a chance to kill this at least. Let's do it. Roll big. Fuck yes. <sighs> okay. Uh, I can run you up here and just shotgun this turret right in his fucking face. Uh, I don't think you pulled off a kill in that case. Cobalt here. Um, reload, shoot, I guess. Because you're dry otherwise. You can't see him. Uh, lame. Buddy. You have teamwork. Berg. That's roof man, right? If we run you out of here, you are very close to dead, though. I could run you over here for this loot and high cover. At this point, everybody's so close to dead that there's like nothing to be gained by pulling people back. That's not entirely true. You're surprisingly intact. Uh, this heavy gunner I might need to suppress. 
And I said this log was safe, right? I think it is. It's flanked by these guys, but this guy's panicked and this guy's burning. So I think if we suppress the gunner, we've got decent chance here. Conversely, can I see the gunner from my cover? I can't see the gunner there. I can see him from here though. Okay, let's go to here. Uh, area suppression might work on that turret. turret. Fuck it. Worth a shot. Literally. Okay, now we got Reckoner, we got Gator, we got Cobalt. Who can't do shit. We've got Buddy, who can advance teamwork Cobalt. Where would you have to move? Do you have to move like down here to be useful? Um, Cobalt is Cobalt's in decent shape. Might be able to chuck him down below. I guess we try the advanced teamwork. I guess I move here and hope the turret can't actually see him from there. Maybe because he can't see the turret, right? So hopefully the turret can't see him. If not, he fucking dies. Okay, so you can blue move to this tree cover point, uh, which flanks the guy that's already gonna die or should die from fire. I really, he took fire damage. He should just die, right? There's no reason the fire would go out and he wouldn't take damage, right? Don't fuck me, right, game, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna be a bastard, are you? All right, let's go to here. You are, you do still have the mark on you. 100%. 93% on that gunner. The gunner, though, is suppressed. But, you know, technically so is that turret. Uh, actually, you might just be taking that. Oh, no, you have blue move available. Um... You're not exactly healthy. Um, I'd prefer to get you to a cover. Uh, you can see a guy from there. I mean, we've got so many guys that are almost dead, though, but this is our only Reaper. Shit. But you're doing nothing if I leave you up here, other than if I took a shot at that guy. You can also soak five damage. You might survive a shot from a turret. Might being the big operative word. Who's your partner? Mangler. Where's Mangler? Oh, I guess we move Reckoner up here and get this kill with Reckoner. Just to guarantee it. Yeah, okay. Shit. Just take them out if you can. Let's not let's not play any games. Oh yeah, hit and run and and, and black and blue. Oh, so you get a bonus action and a movement. Well, okay. Uh, let's grab Stalker. We'll put Stalker behind this rock. And then we can move the skirmisher to where Stalker was. And then, like, take a shot at Overwatch. We'll see what we got. 100% on that heavy turret. 75 on the gunner. Uh, let's target this turret. Because we have the other shot on this turret, too. Was that a kill shot? Was that a kill shot? Ooh, that was a fucking kill, my dude. Okay. We're gonna just let that loot ex expire. Um, that is what it is. I can't tell what that is. A 93? Yeah. Can we just walk fire and get damage up on this guy? That's not a bad idea. If he decides to do something, we can maybe get the suppression hit on him. 
Maybe kill him? Now we got Gator, and he's the last one to go. Uh... He can see him from there if he moves to here. High cover versus the turret. The one remaining turret. We could move, like, to here for the flank and just kill that guy. In which case, why did I suppress him? But then we're much more vulnerable to the turret. Let's go there. Uh, fuck it. Just, just do it. Okay, well, it didn't get the kill, so the suppression's still relevant. And now he's much more likely to die. This guy is still panicked. Please don't do anything. Okay, uh, you just fucking do that, I guess. Whatever. Nice miss. I'm all right. And then we just have this turret shot. Don't... Okay, that's a, that's a perfectly good target. Okay. Okay, one major death... Assuming we're getting out of this here in a second is fine. Seems doable. All right. Well, your shot's going to be awful. We'll see if you can do anything here. Uh, a zero and a zero. Wow. Amazing. Okay, this guy is completely exposed. Okay, let's grab Gator. Gator can just circle around to here and flank and kill. He should be pretty safe. No problem, boss. Of course, the remaining enemies does say four, actually, so there's probably two more drones or something floating around. So we could get fucked yet. Because I don't think the turrets are counting in this number. Uh, hit and run. Could have been the arc pulse. Uh, we can move you down and then grapple. Uh, you might be able to do a grenade shot then. That's not bad. All these guys are going to be out after this battle. I don't know if anybody... I think there's like two dudes that are not like cripplingly injured. Yeah, take this spot. Uh, you can see the turret. I don't like that you can see the turret because it means the turret can probably see you. Why don't we get the armor off this guy, I guess. Uh, if we get the kill, we get the bonus. Hold on. Well, you might just mop this kill up yourself by taking two shots without moving if your reload is here. No, you don't have a free reload anymore. Five damage. The grenade kill might be valid. <clears throat> now, 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 now. There is a strong argument here for pulling some of these people who are closer to death back again to deal with these turrets. You shred, though. So that's still pretty good. Somebody's got to drop the shield and do the shred, so... that ha Somebody has to be doing that. Uh, you can grapple. Uh, we'll do the same thing we did with the other guy, then. We'll move you down here as far as you can go and grapple over somewhere. Oh, wait! Yang is the commander. Maybe Wu was just, Wu, uh, just a tactical sergeant in general, then, and not a commander. I mean, it's still an awful loss. Um, right now, that only shows that, but we didn't see the turret in the preview from the other spot, I don't think. We'll go to here and see what we can do. Yep, we can see the turret. 100% to... Yeah, take the turret shot. Good hit, not a kill, but good hit. 
Okay. Uh, how minimal? Four damage needed to kill. I'm ready. Uh, you could just secure this kill. We could even like run and gun you up there. Uh, except, yeah, because you can't hit the tar the turret. 88%, 22%. Alright, we'll move you up here. 100%, 4% graze. 62%. Stun is just that. Okay. Do you have a shot? You can still take a shot. Oh, you just take this shot then. Fuck it. Now that makes things simpler. That makes things a lot simpler. Back in business. Somebody will secure this kill. There we go. Uh, let's reload and just overwatch here, I guess. Okay, so we need two kills. And if the turrets don't count, then we probably don't have to go back for that other turret. We're probably just looking for some drones. Or something. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Do we need to evac the corpse? I would assume not. I would assume we secure the area. We could just the corpse is just brought back automatically. I need to we could just we could just get it out of there just to be safe. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do. We've only got two enemies left. Send Buddy up here to grab it real quick. Then just evac him, because he's a shotgunner that can't do shit. I see and then we'll just get everybody else like reloaded and uh, ready to go hunting again. Well, we're over a fucking hour again. This mission was long. It's not even over yet. Um, why don't you just hold here? Gator, you're in pretty rough shape, my dude. Um, why don't you just uh, get out here with us somewhere? I mean, there's an argument for, like, evac the injured people here. But it's firepower, right? If we find a dude and we don't kill it because we evac injured guys, like a full health guy could just get killed by a crit. That's just something that happens. So we haven't saved anybody in that case. Alright, let's get this body home. Might as well. We'll just just evac in this one injured soldier. Just because. Just in case this matters, we might as well just do it. I'm gone. All right, and then I guess we'll start to creep around here, look for more stuff. Uh, we killed a bunch of turrets on this roof. Do you think there's more? This felt like the main area, right? This this area here, 
Plus, this is the map edge back here, I think, right? I think this is the back corner. So maybe we'll head towards this roof. Uh, I could reconcile you. That's not a bad idea. So we can figure out where they're, we're looking here. Why don't we run to this corner? Maybe this corner, a little conservative. Ah, fuck it. Okay, nothing there. Heading there now. Moving to designated position. Okay, I'll go. Whatever you say. Seems doable. I think that's our secondary skirmisher, right? I think our main one was injured. Kind of mixed the two up. At least we didn't lose like a faction soldier, I guess. We lost a soldier that can technically be more easily replaced. I think it was also um, the heavy weapon rocket launcher flamethrower unit, which I'm actually not very fond of overall. Um, so if I gotta lose somebody, I feel better about it being, you know, that. Uh, let's go here. My life is in your hands. We can still retreat back if things get fucked. And I want to try and find something. Nothing. Uh, oh, that's just notifying that the reveal. Probably going through a window there or something. Why don't you just Overwatch? Well, maybe we need to go this way then. Um, I guess we could, yeah, let's just go on the roof. Let's just go by the, like, we'll go that way, but we'll go that way by the rooftop uh, direction. No problem, boss. Whatever you say. Copy that. Well, if they'd stumble across us, they'd probably get blown away here pretty well by Overwatches. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Got it covered. I am watching. Come get some. Come get some. Admin forces sighted. Oh, there they are. Oh, I called it on drones. All right. Hopefully we get a bunch of Overwatches here. They might be too far to line of sight. Honestly, that Overwatch alone was already worth a lot. That was a really good one. Nope, we got this, this line here. You can see them. All right, good job. Can you not destroy the entire building we're standing on, maybe? That'd be really good. Oh my god, guys, stop shooting the building. Adjusting aim. We are known to them. Okay, uh, no visibility anywhere, fine. Uh, probably just start taking shots, honestly. We're not going to get much better positioning than this. I mean, the shotgunners and stuff will have to run up. If anything, but... Oh, you have slug shot anyway. It's like, whatever. All right. One death, six wounded. Rating acceptable, indeed. So the turrets on that kind of mission are entirely irrelevant. You can ignore them if you can ignore them. If you can manage to ignore them. Most damage, Scorpion. Really? 93% successful shot percentage? It really... 
I guess their shots did actually connect mostly. The issue was getting them in there. Well, it's been a while since we had a death. We were pretty much due for something. Alright. Crit chance, critical shots get the flank target one shadow will do double critical damage. Throwing knives, banish. Um banish serial feel counter to each other. I mean they kind of are, right? You banish one target, you serial a bunch of targets. Blue screen knives is interesting. Two piercing will disorient robotic units. Squad site hasn't felt relevant. I think in this row, we skipped it, but I think if I took anything, I'd take blue screen knives. Disorient robots sounds tactically valid. Yeah, and I guess we do like knife juggler then maybe too. That way we have a counter play for robots available like that. Otherwise, we never use the knives anyway. You have 26 AP available. Once per turn, gain a bonus action of throwing knife and move them four tiles. I think I like death dealer though. Also, we could just buy a rupture. Stacking crit chance here seems really good. Honestly, lick your wounds on the Reaper also feels really good. There's a way for them to heal when they do take hits. Like, if we don't lick your wounds in that last mission, they would have been able to heal back up pretty well. Okay, so we'll leave the knife stuff alone. We are going to take Death Dealer. This is a 12 AP on the soldier. So we could take Lick Your Wounds. We could take Survival Instinct. 30 AP though. That's kind of rough. We'll take Lick Your Wounds because it helps the survivability to get them to the point where they have enough AP for Survival Instinct. I think that tracks. And then we, I'm going to save the rest here. We're not going to go into the knife stuff until we can do all the knife stuff, I don't think. So we'll call that good. Well... I actually have more people coming out of that intact than I thought we would. Missions 3 kills 1. Oh, Mangler. Oh, Mangler. You're not doing so good there, bud. Tech Sergeant. Um, Executioner, Center Mass, Locked On Walk, Fire with Lock and Load. Uh, and Serial. Ooh, Lock and Load Serial is dirty as fuck, dude. With Predator? With Hail of Bullets? Toss some fucking... Oh, man. Hail of Bullets? Like, that works, right? You can Hail of Bullets off of Serial to, like, wipe somebody out from cover and get the fucking kill. This guy's amazing. Berg is actually fucking phenomenal. He's only got 6 AP. Um, so we probably don't get a special ability here. Probably just want to go straight to Serial when we can, but we got to save up. Uh, miss attacks have additional roll to become Graze. If you score one or more kills, single bonus move or bring them on. Plus one damage on crits for every two enemies you can see. We do have bonus crit chance and Executioner, which also works with Serial and then bring them on. Oh my god, that's really good. Bonus crit for successful shots at the same. Yeah, we do bring it on. Bring them on, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do. I don't think we do we what do we do in the next tier out I'm curious rapid fire tactical sense rapid reaction I mean rapid fire I mean rapid fire off of like light him up with like oh fuck dude light him up shot into walk fire if you if you need a one hit you can basically guarantee the finish or you do rapid fire if you need two hits and, and you know cross your fingers 
fucking wild damage output on these guys. These fucking rangers. And you, my little disappointment. Parry melee and counterattack and dodge defense. So you're like a tank build currently. Once per turn, additional action after taking snare shot at flank or expose. That's pretty good. Lightning reflexes. Lightning slash. So you got a bunch of like weird knife stuff, which is really strange. You also have 18 AP. So if I wanted to give you a knife move, run a knife, it would work. Yeah, we got like some interesting knife mobility stuff here. Wait, lightning slash? Hmm. So if we're putting you into melee though, then what do we do? Like, mayhem? Honestly, the enemies usually don't move when suppressed. Most of them just sit there and shoot. I suppose you could use it in a build that was centered around overwatching against uh, things like mechs that just don't give a shit, right? This tier is pretty underwhelming. The next tier is a bunch of like gunshots too, and then cyclic fire is even more gun stuff. Uh, maybe I do do suppression, right? Maybe the role is suppression in melee at this point. Because right now we're tank stuff. We didn't take like center mass. I mean, Shredder is still always useful. Halo Bullets has always useful utility. But we've already got people who do this stuff better. If we pick up Mayhem... I think I'm going to save up for Lightning Slash. Uh, I don't think I'm going to commit AP to this yet. Because she's just not a very good soldier anyway. And I think we'll do Mayhem... Do I do mayhem? Fuck, dude. Cone based attack with primary weapon that reduces mobility. I mean, there's utility to that, too. Just recover. I don't like this. I don't like this, this build based on the random bonus abilities here, really. Oh, fuck. Just do shredder because it's just the easy thing to pick. Do hail of bullets to guarantee kills, but the melee basically guarantees kills anyway. I, the problem with mayhem is it's attempt to move. It's not all suppression shots. It's attempt to move suppression shots. That's what I don't like about it. We're just gonna do shredder because I I eh, don't know what else to do. Uh, yeah, let's memorialize you. She died as the the hero. Wow. Yeah. I sure. Okay. I mean, I guess. Did I not do that correctly? Oh, that's a cute pose. Oh no, I did do it correctly. Where did all these other ones come from? How are there a hundred and two of these? Huh. Okay. Well, sure. Uh, do you have a bond? No. Just telling me things are better than they used to be. All right, you are now tech sergeant, replacing the one we lost, which is good. You're running gun based stuff with target focus. Okay. Uh, quick zap. Dead eye. Tactical sense. Lone wolf. Ghost walker. Dedication. Slugshot Trench Gun, Killer Instinct, Extra Conditioning. So you're very much like running gun stuff. Uh, 
Single shot at a flanked or exposed target with your primary weapon. Range tags can bonus against unflinkable. Hit and run, rapid fire, or close encounters. That's a tough one. Also, they have 15 AP. Do we want to do something like Lone Wolf? Lone Wolf's probably good on a running gunner. I think we should probably pick that up here for a 5 XCOM AP. Dedication's not bad. We've had issue with some reaction shots. Actually, pretty good with running gun. Let's pick that up. We also don't have to use XCOM XP then. Or AP, I mean. And then we could... It could combo with hit and run. You can do dedication into like a crazy big running gun and then to the hit and run to retreat back. Or just take another shot. Bonus, yeah, with like with the crit damage, rapid, yeah, rapid fire is not so important for the with the crit damage based build. Let's do hit and run. We'll do hit and run. All right. Well, we came out of there alive. Two advanced expanded magazines and a will focus. Uh, that's good for the psychics, probably. And then defense. Oh, okay, that's a lot. Oh, 150 supplies? Holy shit. We did get the corpses. Okay, that's a lot of loot. Holy shit. Yeah, a ton of autopsies we haven't done. Wow. Okay. Oh, and those are all the render ones, though. Whatever. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, 154 supplies. What do we need to dedicate supplies to right now? Gas grenades in one day. Make contact with West Asia, decrypt codex data, complete the codex brain, coordinates mission, liberate region, assault the regional HQ. So what even was that mission then? Was that not a re region? No. seem your recent activities have gotten advent's attention our unwelcome guests are on the move advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe the exact details of these operations are highly classified however they do have one thing in common a single word that appears in all their files avatar I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed we haven't from the very done the black site, right? <laughs> from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. Was this supposed to happen after that mission? We're tracking the alien's progress on this Avatar project here. Uh, enemies at 46. Interesting that we can see enemies here. Sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. Okay, uh, we got a cave. We got many Avatar pips. Oh god, don't like that. Six pips, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Make contact decrypt codex close brand. Did we do the black site? I don't remember. No, contact the resistance in the black site region. We haven't done the we haven't done the black site. We're not even near the black site. Maybe they just moved that the avatar unlocking to a different 
mission tier or whatever. Oh, this is blue. Is this this is this like a liberated region then? Is that what that is? Yeah, region liberated. Okay. So if you're liberated, does that mean there's no possibility for retaliations? I assume so because there's no feedback on what they're doing in the region. In which case, uh, Intel supply, 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 recruit, recruit. We can put these people on like a mix of Intel and uh, does Intel do anything beyond give us Intel points if the region has no advent in it? I'm not sure. Okay, we'll put these guys on a mix of supply. We could just put them all on supply for now until we know if it makes a difference. Well, we still get intel from them. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll do we'll do we'll do this for now. We could pop back and take a peek. Uh, how's this one coming? 12 still. We'll still wait on that. <sighs> okay, we're making contact with New India. We want to keep making contact with New India. And I guess maybe we save supplies up to get a radio tower put in. Um, and then we make contact with the Black Site region, deal with that. So I think we save our supplies. Okay. Advent and the, okay, so those are both like there. Okay, let's pop back here for a second. Fuse training seven days. Um, what can we do? What is your upgrade? Insulin, nah, whatever. Don't care about that. Uh, gas grenade is going to finish in one day, and then we have nothing after that. We could queue another thing up there. That would be, 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 be decent. Um, Hello, do we have any weapons we want to build here that we weren't able to? I'd like to wait for the next tier of web of um, armor before getting anything there. Yeah, I we basically got some rifles. We can wait for the next upgrade tier. Ooh, a meg sawed off might be good. I mean, the sawed offs already do enough damage that I feel like having a magnetic one isn't that big of a deal um further grenades i like do we maybe we do just go for some upgrades here things we would like neglected maybe like the um maybe the gremlin maybe the advanced grenade launcher and let's take a look at the proving ground what, what would our next project be we do venom rounds. We do red screen rounds. More susceptible to hacking. I mean, we don't really hack. I'm not huge on most of these other options, though. I mean, I wouldn't mind this. I wouldn't mind a venom rounds on hand. 20 supplies. We're not gonna get the radio tower in for a little while. 150 is not enough anyway. And we can sell some stuff next month to make up the difference. So let's do Venom Rounds. And that might be all I want. I wouldn't mind a spark, but not for 80 supplies. Red screen rounds are like questionable right now, I feel like. So let's go over here. Give me Or do we just stall out for the next tier? Maybe we just sit and wait. Why go for the advanced grenade launcher when we get like the next, the third tier version, right?
We also have... We're also working on... Actually, yeah, we're working on new weapons. One day. Oh, yeah, fuck. We saved the supplies. We probably shouldn't have even done that. Um, still, I do want that ammo. 15 troops available. So we can do one more infiltration if something good comes up. And we still have some people held back for some other things. Um... I guess we keep making contact until this infiltration's ready. Okay, there's our gas and raid. Grenade. We might as well check this again. Still 12. Uh, how long until this expires in general? 20 hours. Yeah, so we'll just scan until that's done, I guess. Okay, we'll have... We have advanced research. Or this stuff. So, technotic rifle, shard gun, mag cannon. That's a lot of good stuff. Rail cannon, mag long, blah, 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 blah. Battle armor inspired. <sighs> Front of arm player line, heavy armor. So that's the special type one. Six days. Um, still probably worth doing it. It might have to be done to unlock the next armor tier, actually. Let's do it. We'll do the inspired one. That's fine. Uh, let's go to engineering. Let's burn all of our supplies and weapons. I need uh, I need a mag cannon for sure. We want... Oh, the Timnotic rifle's already... Oh, Jesus. The, how much supplies did that take? 40? We burned that much, huh? Uh, I want a shard gun. Oh, we already have a shard gun. We started with one, I guess. So we get the long rifle. And then we have to come back for the Timnotic. Maybe the rail gun. Wait. No, the Helix Railgun is the other one. All right, let's do the long rifle. Uh, our Reaper is down for a while anyway. But we do want this Tomatic Rifle. Do I go? No, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Let's look at the other Havens real quick, too. Um... Advent Strength is 2, we have 8 on Intel, Advent Strength is 2, 6 on Intel, 2, we've got 2, 2, we got 1 hiding, let's put you on Intel. That was a new recruit, I am assuming. Uh, Advent Strength is 4, oh, uh, thank you, scientist, okay. Hunt the Chosen Hunter. We don't have the Master Sergeant available. Loot. Intel. We could knock this out, maybe. Don't need an engineer. PCSs are kind of... Eh, 69 supplies or superior weapon upgrade. I mean, a superior scope would be your high tier. Wait. Is superior third tier or not? I don't know. These are both four days. This is effectively a weapon. It's actually pretty relevant. Hmm. We could do you, and we could do... Who was paired with you? Was it you? No, was it you? Yes. Four days, ambush chance 18%. These people, were, I think, were just out there. I think they're equipped. I'm not going to check it. We're just going to cross our fingers. Let's get those supplies. My followers will lead this action to victory. Okay, back here. Uh, this haven... Strength is four, two, 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 and a one. We can put that other guy on, I guess, supply. That's fine. Three, two, three is like the standard thing because of when, how the retaliations work or whatever. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know if there's... If it's that worthwhile to have them on Intel, but it's fine. Okay, we got this down to 11. That's good. Um, let's go. Also, maybe the argument is actually that we need supplies for some upgrades right now. I don't know. It's hard to make the call. We could keep, we'll keep that Liberator region as like a dedicated supply region, maybe? Maybe that makes sense? We also need those radio towers. But we need supplies and intel. Well, I guess we need supplies next. So I think we should switch it to its supplies. To get the supplies to the radio tower. All right, well, there's a muton back there. We already see that. 12 enemies, though. How many people are on this mission? Six. Six versus 12. Um, our armor situation looks okay. Uh, still want to be careful here with this, though. 24 turns is not too bad, though, so we should be all right. All right. Uh, we'll end this episode here, then. It's been a long pair of episodes. Uh, so until next time, and we'll see if this mission's a bit quicker.